Josh Hammer from Florida. Josh, welcome. Great to be back with you. Thanks for having me. Josh, firstly, why has the American media, like the Australian media for that matter, buried the story about the Durham report? Well, I mean, look, in this world and the US and probably Australia and other Western style countries as well, you have two forms of media. You have regime media, you have effective Pravda, and then you have dissident media. And unfortunately, the overwhelming majority of mainstream media organizations in the US and around the world have now adopted the standing of regime Pravda, of regime apologists. And here in the United States in particular, it is orthodoxy. It is orthodoxy on the American left. It is orthodoxy in the pages of the New York Times, the Washington Post, on the, on the airwaves of MSNBC, CNN. It is orthodoxy that Donald Trump worked with Vladimir Putin to steal the 2016 election, that there was Russian collusion and things like that. And they simply will not let it go. I mean, people have built their careers on this. I mean, Adam Schiff, the congressman from California, has been telling this lie for years and years on the floor of the United States House of Representatives. So, you know, a lot of people are deeply invested in this lie. And the Durham report, which didn't necessarily say anything new for those of us who've been watching this for years and years, who have followed the story, who know that the Russia Gate collusion hoax was, in, was indeed just that. It was a hoax. But there are so many people just invested in this lie that they can't just let it go because in order to let it go, in order to acknowledge that the Durham report is real, that Donald Trump was not a Russian agent in 2016, in order to let that go, you would have to then face the reality that you've been deceiving and lying to your audience for years and years and years now. And fundamentally, I think that is kind of the basic incentive structure that is going on now. But the Durham report, again, this didn't really say anything new. I was a little disappointed that there is no kind of indication of further prosecutions or further indictments because – to date, the only person who has faced any modicum of justice for this is a lower tier operative, a former FBI lawyer by the name of Kevin Kleinsmith, who pleaded guilty to forging a, a, a document for a FISA surveillance warrant. But he even just served probation, didn't even serve jail time. So I, many like myself are now waiting to see what kind of justice, if any, we can ultimately get for what really has been one of the most pernicious and insidious information operations foisted upon the American people in the entire history of this country. Well, we're waiting with bated breath down here as well. I mean, what little media coverage there has been has focused mostly on uh, whether Joe Biden and Hillary, how, or how deeply Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton were up to their necks in it. Uh, but I think that uh, Barack Obama um, has kind of uh, escaped the spotlight a little bit. How culpable is Obama in all of this, in your opinion, Josh? Well, I think Hillary Clinton has, frankly, escaped the spotlight even more than Barack Obama. Going back to 2016, this whole Russiagate collusion delusion never would have been a thing were it not for Hillary Clinton. I mean, it was Hillary Clinton in her 2016, her failed presidential campaign that worked with the Tony White Shoe law firm Perkins Coie that ultimately worked with Fusion GPS, Christopher Steele, the discredited British spy from the Steele dossier. All of this has as its point of provenance, as its origin point, the failed Hillary Clinton 2016 presidential campaign. So she bears a lot of blame for this. Barack Obama certainly bears no shortage of blame as well. I mean, frankly, you know, the entire kind of Democrat media complex, to use the term from the, the late great Andrew Breitbart, is really the entire Democrat media complex that bears the entirety of the blame here because, again, they were so, so confident that Donald Trump was a Russian agent. They were so, so confident that they would go to the mattresses to pull out all the stops to do this. And because they're so invested and like we just discussed, they simply just cannot let it go at this point.